What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Mr. Lada Baboon. We are back with the reaction video. And I will say I don't know if I'm gonna say this right, so bear with me, okay? I got it ready right here on the screen on my on the laptop and everything, so <clears throat> we are reacting to a video and I will have the link down in the description. Uh and the channel link as well if you guys want to go subscribe all that good stuff that would be much appreciated it, oh and if you really, and if you guys are enjoying my reactions my gaming videos any types of stuff like comment subscribe but let me know what you guys think turn on post notifications uh, i think that's about it uh so what we are reacting to is this and i don't know if i'm going to say this right so I will say he is a Espolo ex Expolo Expolo Yeah, I think. So this is how you say that. Leif Erickson. Leif Erickson. Leif Erickson. Leif Erickson. Leif Erickson. Leif Erickson. I'm sorry if I'm botching it, but that is how you say it, I do believe. So, uh, make sure you guys do all that good stuff. Like, comment. We're going to get straight to this. I'm sorry for holding you. Oh, and I will be here to call it all that good stuff. So, oh, and disclaimer, I don't know if anything I'm going to say is right. Because I don't know anything about this dude. And this is him and his crazy Viking family. So, they're pretty divided place. But at Drone of History, we know that there's one undeniable truth. Toilet paper should be hung over, not under. Show that. Uh, but what if I hang toilet paper under? Huh? That you're not an uncivilized maniac and get your right side of history t-shirt. The first shirt from Drawn of History. Yes, this is real. It comes in white and dark mode and it really <laughs> Bro, helps the channel. Cool. I, Link I, down I like in the description. Now one. on with the video. Before. I doubt they had the same one, but you know, I like to Fuel get hill. Like this drinking horn ain't gonna refill itself. Oh, no, oh, man. Fire, that'd be cool too. Anyway, kids, where was I? Why Grandpa came to Iceland. Yeah, so Grandpa had to come to Iceland, but cross of some killings, and here we are. Uh, who is it now? Fuel hill, the door. It's Eyjolf the Foul. Ah, oh, by Odin's beard. What does this Rasraga want? Kids, give that a minute. Hey, Ulf, what is it? Three of your thralls caused a landslide that destroyed Valthiel's farm. Yeah, well, how do you know they were my thralls? Because they confessed it to me right before I cut off their heads. <sighs> Kids, oh, shit. I'll be right back. Dad has just got to talk to Eyjolf. <coughs> I'm going to be cool like Grandpa Thorvald and get banished for murder when I grow up. I don't think Thorvald's so cool about that. And that's why I'm named Thorvald after Grandpa. And you're named after the wimpiest part of a tree, Leif. That's not what Leif means. Freydis, can you back me up here? I'm going to kill you in your sleep and make a blanket from your skin. What? Okay, Freydis. Thorstein, what do you think? Thorstein, stop being the top of game pieces. All right, family, pack your bags. We're being banished for murder. <laughs> Before you can talk about Leif Erikson and the Norse expansion of North America, you have to talk about the Norse expansion everywhere else. During the Viking Age of the 8th to the 11th century, Norsemen expanded throughout yeah. Europe, raiding the British Isles, extorting land in France, becoming super soldiers in Constantinople, and kinda creating Russia? You name the place, the Norse were there. This includes Iceland. Described in the Land Nadapok, a Viking named Nadod was blown off course and landed there around AD 825. Shit. Nadad, we've searched for the source of these smoke plumes, and it's not from people. There's no people here. It's from the kajillion volcanoes on this island. We should call this place Volcano Land. Yeah, but I see some flurries. We should call it Snowland. Snowland? This snow is nothing compared to Norway. Meanwhile, the entire terrain is like a field of sulfuric buttholes. Yeah. Snowland sounds good. <laughs> Forty years later came a Viking named Floki Vilgatherson who saw a fjord with drift ice in it and said, Snowland? 
We should call this Iceland. Am I the only one seeing these volcanoes? <laughs> and within a hundred years, over 50,000 Norsemen would call Iceland their home. Which brings us to Thorvald Asvaldsson. Around the year 960, Thorvald ran into some legal issues in Norway. Thorvald, yeah. did you get into a fight recently? King Alcon, uh, uh, I guess you could call it that. And did you do anything rash? Well, there might have been some killings, but you don't have to make a whole thing over it. Actually, yes, we do. Yeah. That's what a thing is. It's a Viking assembly to decide legal disputes. And we've had <laughs> one, and you've been banished. So, get out. Exiled from his native Norway, Thorvald set sail for Iceland, accompanied by his son, Eric the Red. Gee, Dad, when I grow up, do you think I could be banished for murder, too? Eric, I think you can be anything you want to be. Dad, is there a reason we're going to Iceland and none of the other much more inhabitable regions we Norse have spread to? Shut up, boy. Just shut up. <laughs> Damn. Chapter 2. Now's a good time to address that historians don't know many specifics about Eric the Red, his family, and this part of Norse history because the Norse really didn't write it down. A lot of this chapter in Norse history mainly comes from the saga of the Greenlanders and the saga of Eric the Red, both of which were told orally for hundreds of years, were subject to much political and religious bias, have been translated from their original archaic language, and should in no way be considered an undeniable literal account of what actually happened. Yeah. Oh, how did these get here? So Thorvald and his son, Eric the Red, settled in Hoikataler, Iceland. Hey. Eric would marry Fjolhild and have four children, Thorvald, Leif, Thorstein, and Freydis. After being exiled from Hoikataler, Eric moved his clan to Exerny, but got himself into trouble again. So when okay. you go into berserker mode, it's important to try to kill multiple people in one shot, because Odin will give you a combo kill bonus in Valhalla. Excuse me, Eric. Hi. It's Torgus from down the fjord. What now? Give me a second, kids. Torgus, what do you want? Yeah, I think when you retrieved your set stoker that you had me hold for you, you might have taken mine. Nah, I'm pretty sure I got the right ones. Are you sure? Because that one has my name and my face carved into it. Damn. Hey, is that my lawnmower? <laughs> hey, Leif, I bet you'd be a great bajerker. <laughs> so I will grow up already. We're sick of you always being so mean. White Freitas. You're still alive because I have yet to hunt you for sport. Oh, okay, hey, Freitas. Okay. Did you hear? Thorstein, take them off your hat. You look ridiculous. All right, family, I got news. We're being banished for murder again. Yay! Mm. Having been banished, Eric Bro. headed west to a land that was known to the Norse for almost a hundred years, but never settled. For three years, he explored that land, and while he did find icy mountains, he also found green valleys, waters full of fish, and valuable trees due to the medieval warm period that had just started. You know, Eric? I think we might be able to get some Icelanders to help us colonize this land when your exile's over. Maybe, but it's so far away in the boonies. We need to give it a good name because men will desire much the more to go there if the land has a good name. Ah, uh, yes. But what name would appeal to what men desire most? Come to Big Titty Girlfriend Land. Bro. Fine, Greenland. Come to Greenland. And in 985, 25 ships sailed west. 14 actually made it, and Greenland began to be colonized. Never a large settlement, Greenland survived, and Eric, now in the power Shit. position of first settler, had nowhere left to be banished oh, from. Kinda takes the fun out of everything, you know? Damn. He said it kinda takes the fun out of Do everything. I, say I shouldn't eat that. Damn. You can say, more please. Like, that whole age was pretty chaotic, though. As the Viking settlement in Greenland grew, though never reaching a population of more than 3,000, Eric's children grew up as well. Around the year 1000, Leif had traveled to Norway to see the land of his grandfather's banishment. While there, he ended up in the court of Norwegian King Olaf Tryggvason. Yeah, so Greenland's not bad. It's not great. It's like a warm fart on a cold day. Oh, uh, well that's disgusting. Anyway, have you heard the good news? Good news? We're all gonna be Christians now! 
King Olaf says you'll love it. So Jesus is the son of God, and he did all these miracles like feeding 5,000 people with a few loaves of bread and a couple of fish. We already got enough gods, Leif. We got Odin, and he's already got a son, Thor, who's not just some glorified caterer. He's the god of thunder! He's got a hammer that shoots lightning! Well, Jesus was a carpenter, so he probably had a hammer too. Probably just used it to make chairs, though. Does anyone have a Jesus chair? Not that I know of. You know, it's kind of weird now that I think about it. Oh, Freitas, tell me you're not buying into this Christianity stuff. Freitas, I haven't seen you since I returned. Whoa, Freitas, is that you? I bet if I slit your throat and turned you into a Pez dispenser, you'd recognize me. Yep. That's you, Freitas. Anyway, Dad, do you know Bjarni Herjulsson? Bjarni Herjulsson was a Norwegian merchant that had earlier sailed to Greenland Never changed. with his father. He was blown That's off good. the horse, got flipped, turned upside down, and discovered land that did not match the description he had of Greenland. Bjarni, this land has fair winds, fresh water, and it's covered with trees. Can we make landfall here? No, we have plenty of good land at home in Greenland. So I told Leif, whatever, if he wants to buy Bjarni's ship and sail west in search of some mysterious land, I don't care. Imagine leaving voluntarily instead of getting banished. What's this world coming to? <laughs> he asked me to come, but there ain't no way I'll come. Oh, what was that Damn. for? There's not enough room in this bed for me and my newfound Christian faith and you and your pagan gods. Dad, I'm so glad you decided to come with us now. Yeah, well, uh, I guess you could say I've been banished one last time. Ooh, speaking of, did I tell you the time that Jesus banished the moneylenders from the temple? He started flipping tables and he was all like, do not make my father's house a house of trade. Are you gonna be talking about Jesus this whole trip? Well, probably, it's kind of my thing now. Oh, fart. Anyway, Jesus was trashing the place going, my house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. But Dad, are you okay? Oh, oh, my leg. Oh, oh, it's totally got a protuberance. I am well stricken. Oh, Leif, I guess I can't go on this expedition with you. Well, I can call it off and stay with you. We can pray until it heals. No, I, I, I mean, no, no, it's okay. I'll be okay. You, you just go. Yeah, I'll stay here and wait for the sweet mercy of death. You sure? Positive. So around the year 1000, Leif and his crew of 35 sailed west. After a few days, it appeared on the horizon, the land that Bjarni had spoke of. Leif disembarked and set foot in the new world. They should have sent a poet to describe how useless this land is. I shall call it Hella Land because it's hella boring. Back in the boat, everybody. And by Damn. stepping foot on what is almost definitely Baffin Island, Canada today, Leif became the first European to arrive in North America. They continued exploring, finding another land with white sands and heavy woods, which Leif called Mark Land which means woodland. Very creative. Woodland. Leif and company would then sail yeah, around what is now Newfoundland. Creative. They would settle at Leif's Boda, or Leif's dwelling for the winter, and before leaving, make another discovery. See, one day Tyker, a German thrall on the expedition, was late arriving back at the settlement. When they did find him, he was drunk as a skunk and proclaimed, I found vines und grapes. Um, Tyrker, those aren't grapes. They look like berries. I think they're squash berries. Maybe cranberries. I don't care if they're dingo berries. <laughs> we could still make prison hooch man out of them. Wait a minute. If you just found the berries, then why are you so drunk? I don't know. Why are you so sexy? <laughs> Whatever. We should call this land <laughs> Vinland. And that was about it for this fabled expedition. Spring came, Leif loaded up his men, some wood and a ton of grapes and headed home. He even found a group of shipwrecked Norsemen on the return trip and rescued them, earning him the name Leif the Lucky. Oh yeah, now I got 50 men packed into a tiny ship. I'm the luckiest man in the world. <laughs> According to the saga of the Greenlanders, tragedy struck the winter after Leif's return to Greenland. Eric the Red died. And being pagan until the end, was most likely buried next to the newly built church grounds. Though even this, he probably wasn't very happy about. One might expect Thorvald as the <laughs> eldest son to take his father's place, but Thorvald, perhaps jealous how to get of Leif's explorative he success, knows how to make had other plans. So I want to go to Vinland. You basically spent a winter there and ran home. Well, I guess my stay was brief. I mean, you didn't even murder anyone. Me? I want to meet interesting and stimulating people of an ancient culture and kill them. 
We actually didn't find anyone to kill, but sure, do you want to use my boat? Shut up. Of course I'm taking your boat. So I guess that'll leave you in charge. Yeah, I guess so. Right. Uh, well, uh, I need a favor then. I need you to banish me. What? Come on! <laughs> Grandpa got banished, Dad got banished, I want to be banished too. Farvald, you're my brother, and you haven't done anything wrong. I'm not banishing you. You about to do well, something, though. Uh, Christianity is wrong. See, I've blasphemed. Banish me! Well, Jesus has taught me to turn the other cheek. Oh, yeah? I hang toilet paper under instead of over. Banish me! No, you don't, because toilet paper hasn't been invented yet. <laughs> Just go to Vinland <laughs> with my blessing. Ah, oh, stop! Get out of here! That counts as banishment. That counts! Ha <laughs> ha! So Thorvald and his crew of 30 men were off to Vinland. They wintered at Leif's Budere and explored during the spring, which is when they found something that had eluded Leif during his journey. Other people. Thorvald greeted them the only way he knew how. Jeez, those guys are so Shit. loud. We should call them Skraelings, because all they do is scream. I know, what's up with that? All right, score another win for the Vikings. Um. Do you hear something? Run away! Run away! Run away! <gasps> we barely got out of there with our lives. Wait, does that count as a banishment? I guess it does. Hell yeah! Eat that, Leif! Odin's nipples! What? Was I hit? Uh-huh. Is it bad? As opposed to good? Okay, just pull I mean, him out. Oh, okay. oh, wait, no, oh, no, stick. keep okay. it in. No, oh, no, no, pull it out, pull it out. Slow. I'm, I'm slow. Ah, no, almost, quick! Almost, almost. Ah. Okay, that's better. He would be the first European buried on the American continent, and thus ends the story of Shit. Thorvald Ericsson. Then there's the story of Thorstein Ericsson. He, okay. too, decided to go to Vinland, mm. but immediately got lost, mm. washed up in another part of Greenland, mm. died of a mysterious illness, Shit. came back as a zombie creature named a dragger, uh. eh? told his wife Gudrid to rebound with an Icelander, mm. and died again. And thus ends the tale of Thorstein Ericsson. That's quick. Then there's Freydis, Eric's daughter. Depending on which yeah, saga you one. read, yeah, yeah. Freydis is either a psychopathic balls-out villain or a psychopathic balls-out hero. Either way, Freydis rules. In the saga of the Shit. Greenlanders, two Norwegian brothers, Helgi and Finborgi, came to Greenland and Freydis struck a deal with them to launch an expedition to Vinland. They agreed to bring equal crews of 30 men in their ships, but Freydis tried to sneak extra men aboard. Freydis, oh, I can't help but notice you have a couple extra men. Grab each other's f***ing hands. Conjoined twins. They count as one. Quit bitching and get in your boats. The brothers were the first of the ships to reach the Norse settlement now known as Lanza Meadows and took up residence in Leif's old house until... Freydis, you've arrived. Get out of my house. We just figured what? since we got here first, we should have first pick. And I just figured that if you don't get out of my f***ing house i'll shove my fist up your ass then shove you up his ass and make a norwegian turducken needless to Damn. say there was tension between the two groups and it only got worse over the winter one morning freydis awoke her husband wake up you slapper and go kill those weird old brothers and their crew why my love what have they done does it matter whatever let's say they hit me <clears throat> the ludifus twins they couldn't hit water if they fell out of a long shot listen either the settlement gets mad Massacred today, or you do. Dude, your wife's pretty intense. Jokes yeah. on her. I'm into that. Oh, that's it, my love. All the men are dead. When did I say kill only the men? My love, we couldn't possibly. Which is when Freydis pulled a Thanos and said, Fine, I'll do it myself. Now, the Saga okay. of Eric the Red tells a different story. Thorfinn Karlsefni, an Icelandic merchant, came to Greenland, got in good with the not-yet-dead Eric the Red, and even married Thorstein's wife, fulfilling his zombie prophecy. He also launched another expedition to Vinland, in which Freydis joined in. They got along well with the Skraelings, forging a trade relationship between the two groups. Then, whether because the natives saw a bull for the first time, or because these lactose-intolerant people drank milk for the first time, the Skraelings lost their minds. The Norse were soon surrounded, and all seemed lost until a very pregnant Freydis emerged. You the slingers call yourselves Vikings? Get out of my f 
f***ing way. Frida then grabbed a sword, whipped out a tit, slapped it with her weapon, and scared what? the ever-living crap out of the Skraylings. All right, mother f***ers, who's ready to die today? Oh, shit. Um. What? So, uh, as you can see, Capitano Colombo, I was the first European to discover America. My own, you don't count. Your people didn't even colonize it. True, it was hard enough even colonizing Greenland for the couple of hundred years that we did. Still, I think I should get the credit. Like Neofam, you should. I, Sneebjorn Galti Holmsteinsen, first arrived in Greenland in AD 978. And as this tectonic map shows, Greenland is clearly part of North America. Didn't you and all your settlers kill each other? I don't see how that's relevant. First, Raven Floki. I was first. I founded Reykjavik, which is clearly on the North American <laughs> side of Iceland. So I'm the first European in North America. Um. Is that so, Raven? Gentlemen, I am the first. Greenland and Iceland are clearly part of Europe, both politically and culturally, so I am clearly the most important explorer here. Um, excuse me? Who are you? Me? Uh, I'm a member of the late Dorset people. Us Paleo Eskimos, we've been living in and out of Greenland for like 4,000 years. If Greenland is Europe, my specific people have been traveling and living there for like 500 years before you and your family even got there. By your own logic and definition, it's the indigenous North Americans that discovered Europe first and not the other way around. So uh, maybe I'm the most important explorer here. Well, my <laughs> friend, congratulations. You've officially been discovered. Ugh, white people. <laughs> Jack Racco, yeah, what you yeah. doing here? Did you get banished from your channel or something? No, Eric, remember this video is part of a collab. Drawn of History is doing this video on you and your family, and I'm doing one on Hakon the Fourth. People can check it out over here. Yeah, and when they're done, they can check out another Drawn of History video over here. Bro, that's lit. I hate W video, even though that was a yoga, but... Edits and everything's on point. It was a really good video. I did learn a lot. A lot. Don't know how to take it, though. Let me know if there was anything in the comments, okay? Let me know if something, if there was, like, anything left out or anything like that in the comments. Let me know. I will see you guys in the next video. Positivity ski, motivation ski, happiness is key. Watch out for each other. You guys stay safe. I'll see you guys in the next video.